Brakti Yahawu, Brakti Yahushai, Brakti Yahawu, Brakti Yahushai, Brakti Yahawu, Brakti Yahawu, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim, Chakodash, the blind to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, which was well, of course, salutations to the hopeful elect out there, Akim to Zadakim, that do this thing in the utmost truth and sincerity. Um, I'm the preacher, man. This week's topic is going to be entitled The Majority uh, Were Blinded. Or simply put, they just can't get it. Now, what I'm referring to is uh, two-thirds of the nation of Israel um, will forever be blind to this understanding. As, as evident as things are um, to, to those that can receive things, to the majority of nation of Israel, they just won't, they just won't get it. You know, some people, as Esau could literally come out and say, this is the mark of the beast. This RFID chip right here, this is the mark of the beast. These guys are right in Revelation. And they just still will buck up and refuse and come up with some other shit, you know, and that that is because um, it is prophesied that this would happen, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through that scripture um, and several scriptures like it that pretty much tells us, uh, you know, the Lord has pretty much blinded um, two-thirds of his own people to the understanding, all right? Now, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 6, uh, verse 9, nine all right? Actually, let me read verse 8. Also, I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send and who will, will go for us? Then said I, Here I am, send me. And he said, Go and tell this people. Now, which people? The Lord's people, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the chosen people of, of God, right? Of Yahweh. Um, Hear ye indeed. But understand not, right? And that's a pivotal thing, right? Understanding, right? Proverbs 4 and 7, all I get is get understanding. And they hear the words that we're saying, but they can't comprehend it. They can't comprehend that the so-called white man is the devil, that they're Jacob, he's Esau. Um, they can't comprehend that America is going to be destroyed. They, they can't comprehend it. And it really comes down to the most side for whatever reason, whether they're choosing to reject it or whether it's like rocket science to them. Um, some of the most basic scriptures are uh, again the most I have angels that have sealed off, blocked off their pineal gland to their spiritual understanding. Right? It says, Hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed, but perceive not. And that's what I was saying like, they can literally see that the mark of the beast, which is the RFID microchip, is present, it's here. Um, but they can't perceive that that's the mark of the beast. They can't perceive that the RFID microchip, even though people get injected with it, even though people are buying and selling with it, they can't perceive that this is scripture, that this is prophecy, you know? Oh, but it's it's not the beast. It's sin is the beast. And, you know, it's shit like that. Like, they just can't, they can't perceive it. And with that in mind, we also have the understanding that we can't be upset when people don't get it. You know, it's not you are not able to teach or, um, I mean, that's sort of like a very, very novice, uh, um, thought process, you know, like you think in the beginning when you come in and you're sharing this information with someone that it's really how you're teaching them and whatever is making them, um, understand it. But truly, um, the understanding comes to the Lord, you know, the, the, the words you utter and then them receiving it, all of that has to come from the most high. So the plant, the most high is the one that plants, he waters, um, and he determines the increase, all right? We're just vessels, okay? So it's going to come down to you, how about Shemiah or Shai, you, you know, you have a hopeful person that's going to understand the things that we're teaching, you know? Okay? Uh, now, reading on, uh, verse 10. Make the heart of this people fat. Now, when it says heart, it's not talking about the heart that pumps in your chest, Right? The Hebrew their word for heart is love. Make the heart of these people, make their mind fat, make them pretty much clog their, like, you know how, like, you have fat in your arteries and it's clogged up? Pretty much clog their minds, you know, to where, you know, nothing, uh, no new information could freely flow in, you know? Understanding can't freely flow in them. It says, and make their uh, ears heavy and shut their eyes um, so they shut their eyes. They had that movie, Eyes Wide Shut. You know, our people are pretty much dead from the neck up when it comes to spirituality, two-thirds of them at least. They can't perceive it. They can't get it. 
Um, right now, you know, we go out there for the hopeful elect. That's it. You know, that's how come we don't need a, 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 a an enormous congregation, a crefto, crefto dollar tour situation, or even a um, IUIC sort of situation. IUIC is pretty has a large congregation that have billboards through different boroughs and marching all throughout these different states and flying on jets to different countries. We don't need that, you know, because we understand that this thing is ultimately going to come to a finite, only a finite amount of Israelites are going to truly grasp this thing fully, you know. And I'm not saying that the ones that fully grasp it are not in the ISUPK or IUIC or these other camps, you know. Not everyone in Great Millstone is going to be of the elect. It's, it, you know, just being a part of Great Millstone is not the ultimate write-off. Okay, I've made it. That's not what I'm saying, all right? Um, but I'm saying a bulk of the people in, in those different congregations that are not teaching this thing correctly um, and sincerely are being, and, and are not sincerely, but are choosing rather to be deceived, okay, then it's not meant for them. Ultimately, at the end of the day, the elect, no matter where they are, what whatever they're into, eventually they will come to the right path towards the end and be in one mind with the Lord. You know, whether that takes an individual years and, and laboring, or whether it takes them a second looking up in the chariot and just believing. Um, the elect of the Lord is sealed, you know? The elect of the Lord is sealed. And when we're on the chariots, we're going to be of one accord and one mind. All right? It says, make the heart of this people fat and make their ears, their ears heavy and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes and hear with their um, ears and understand with their hearts and convert and be healed. So the Lord is telling you, look, I'm sealing this knowledge. I'm putting the seal up. I am putting the seal up um, for my, from, from, from two thirds of my undesires right now. All right. Um, for for, for, for prof, uh, prophetic purpose, because at the end of the day, the Lord loves his entire people. But, you know, it's set up in prophecy that two thirds of his own people um, shall not make it, you know. Um, it says, then said I, Lord, how long? And he answered, until the cities be wasted without inhabitants and the houses without men and the land be utterly desolate, right? So I, they're going to get it after the destruction. As we've been saying, um, going all the way back to our apostles and their elders and elders, after the nuclear destruction, the majority of Israel will die and the remnant shall bring them back in the regeneration. And when they come back, then they shall fully understand and comprehend everything and not buck up and be demons. Um, but until then, um, we're going to have to deal with nigger, niggers and niggertry. It says, and the Lord had removed men far away. Okay, so let me um, go to... Romans 11 and 7. Romans 11 and 7. Let's go to Romans. Let's go to Romans 11 and 7. Romans 11 and 7. What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. So what is elect, What is Israel seeking for? He, Israel is seeking for answers. Um, the truth, right? Israel is seeking for the truth. That's how come they, a lot of them go off into different philosophies and follow a lot of, compared to any other nation, if you, if you look at the nation of Israel, we venture off into the most different philosophies compared to any other nation. You'll see a nigga in any dressed in, it's how come it tells you that they, they wore, um, they put on aprons and strange apparels and stuff like that. That, that goes into the philosophies and doctrine, you know? It's it's, it's, it's compared to, to garment, you know? So if it's tell you about putting on righteousness like a robe, all right? But our people have put on the strangest garbs, man. A nigga could be into Muslim and speak um, Arab, uh, an Arabic language, uh, Arabic language better than Arab. So that's Jake, man. They get into everything. So they but they do that thinking... Uh, there has to be something more. What is the truth? What's the meaning of life? Our people go the hardest at it. Um, so it says in uh, 7, it says, What then Israel has not obtained that which he seeketh for? The truth. But the election. But the election has obtained it. So this true understanding, this true meaning of life, 
um, and purpose of life. Um, it will be given to the elect, and we understand it. It's in the book of Ecclesiastes, 13 chapters, fear the, fear the most high, keep his commandments, all right? We're commanded to come out there and teach, prophesy, all right, and not bow down to this man's system. Quite simple. It says, and the rest were blinded, according as it is written, the Most High has given them the spirit of slumber. So the Apostle Paul understood the, the, the writings of, of Isaiah. All right? Eyes that they should not see, as we read. Ears that they should not hear unto this day. And David. Not, so not only is <laughs> the Most High shut it off, but the prophet of the Lord, King David, our king, said, And David said, Let their table be made a snare. So this Bible is likened onto food, right? Like a nice banquet. And but King David is saying, let that be a snare, meaning so you go to diving into chicken bones and you choke on a chicken bone or you choke on a fish bones or you know. And this Bible is a a, a, a twisted trap in a way. Um, because it could really it could it's you you go into the Bible and you could find salvation, but there's so many snares and traps in the Bible to, to condemn you. You know, and that's that's the heavy part about it. That's how come you have to go in this book praying, constantly prayed up that the Lord have them holy angels navigate you correctly. You know, and that again that takes faith. We have faith that Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is dealing with us. You know, so with our apostles and elders that we have the correct interpretation. You see, and we have the precepts to prove it that the Lord you know didn't give us to the Spirit the precepts to back up the things that we're saying. Because it's one thing to have the faith, yeah, I believe, but the works is. We have studied to show ourselves approved by aligning scriptures, all right, to back our faith. You see, and now it goes on to goes on to read, um, as David said, "Let their table be made a snare and a trap, and a stumbling block and a recompense unto them." So, the Lord could have you come into this Bible, learn it to condemn you, all right, for some sort of BS that you've committed in the past. And we've seen that we've seen people come in this thing and go. And the Lord put them in it to just ju to give them even a more severe judgment. So that's the trick bag and ways of the Lord that is very dreadful, man. You know, that's why the scripture says it's a fearful thing to fall in the, 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 the hands of the living power. All right. Um, it says, let their eyes be darkened that they may not see and bow down their back all way. So the scripture will then go on to tell you, like, you know, then is this the case? Then, you know, what the hell is Israel um, going to do? Are they all going to perish? Well, the answer is no. You know, all Israel shall be saved through the one third. You know, and I had to write it, put, wrap it up and cut it that short because I'm, you know, close to work. So that I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Shah, Ba'ashim, Ha'kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, which you well. Salutations to the whole for the elect out there. You Akim to Zadakim that do this thing in the most truth and sincerity. Shalom.